How's everybody doing? Alfred Flores, CEO, President of New Age Electric. Today we're going to be talking about Trimbo Acubit Classic Database Manager and copying assemblies and items from one database to another. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it and then also the downside of copying things that are not the exact name. And I'll show you what happens. Um, copying individual items have no effect, but assemblies do. Let's jump into it. Okay, so as everybody should be aware, you should have the database that comes with the program. It's uh, found right on top. Electrical USA, NECA, IMP, it should be Imperial. So there's a lot of great assemblies in here and there are some things that you know in our industry we don't technically use it's some of it's outdated you might use more uh, you know different things different items especially cost there's very there's a lot of things in here that cost a, um, a lot of money to do and frankly every company is going to end up adjusting this they're gonna take some time um, deleting stuff and, and doing it to the way that the field installs it so that being said let's say we find something in here that we want to copy so we're gonna to stick to uh, assemblies and we'll go with receptacles and we'll say we like we want to pick in here and you can pick this whole thing copy it over but in this case, I'm just going to copy one thing and show you what happens. So let's say here, here's a two gang, 20 amp with half inch EMT. You want to click it. Two ways of doing it. Control C or edit and copy. So that copies it to the clipboard. Now, the other thing you do is to get to the other database. So if you have something that you want to you want to leave this one alone, and you want to make a copy and call it whatever you want and then that's the one you're going to alter you're going to hit database and select database in this case I already have it open so if you have them both open you hit window and then you get to pick from the two so here's the other one so I'm already in receptacles here and I'm going to paste it right here so I can hit control V or edit paste so edit paste well before I do just to make I'm going to show you um, just so you know that I'm not lying <laughs> and I'm being honest so when you come down here see how this is blank I'm gonna I'm gonna go back in the common assemblies you're gonna see there's nothing here I'm gonna jump back in here really quick to uh, it really doesn't matter here and then edit paste in a blank spot okay so it grabbed that over that's how you copy assemblies now here's the negative to doing this what happens is if you change the names of anything that you did in the database so if you happen to change something labeled differently it can't match it so it basically stores it in this database called an unmatched pasted assembly items I go in here it'll say category one I think as you go over time it just creates new categories I'm not really sure how that how that program works like that but this is what it does so if you go in here you're gonna see I don't have a receptacle named exactly that um, maybe this changed too um, I do have a two gain duplex receptacle plate. I think it's I, I changed the name to shorten this. I think it's DPLX instead. So a lot of the thing a lot of these didn't carry over. And I believe the only thing that I could see from here that did carry over and was matched was the half inch EMT. But you can do it this way. I suggest not to do it this way I know it's a pain in the ass to recreate these but it will benefit you benefit you in the future because these are all independent of everything else 
in that database. So if you changed anything in here, um, labor, uh, price codes, sort codes, you're going to have to do it all over again to match what's in your database. It's the only downside of copying assemblies. Now, if you happen to find something that you like in here, and let's say you didn't have a um, an isolated ground, all right? So we're gonna go into the item database itself, and let me see where it is wiring system devices, straight blade, isolated ground. And then, you know, you, you're going to say, oh, I, I like this particular one. Um, control C or edit and copy. And then go back into the, your working database. And then now you can go into your um, devices itself and you could put it, you know, anywhere you want. So, I mean, I, I got this already done and I'm going to put it in here and edit and paste it is it's duplicated because I already have this somewhere else single I think this is it right here so it's the exact same thing so this was where I was telling you that because it's unmatched and you did bring it in it doesn't it, it's not matching it up and it, it does work kind of strange but if you already have it it doesn't really care because I think this is the exact same wording 20 amp 125 volt 20, 20 single receptacle dash iso ground orange so this is exactly worded so you're doubling up these in here so be careful when you do pay stuff that you may already have because once again you have to adjust your labor the price codes and so forth so i'm going to um delete this itself because this is my database and it auto saves when you do stuff. So if you're not aware, everything auto saves as soon as you do something in here. Um, item database. I have to go back and you have to erase everything in here. So you're not going to confuse yourself with anything. If you don't know how to erase, it's just uh, um, delete items. You can highlight it. One on the top, hit shift, go to the bottom and highlights it all. And then you can just hit delete. And then jump back to make sure you delete the, the level two as well the category one and then that way you can delete this now so if, if you're ever back in your item database you know maybe somebody did something and this was in here that kind of draws you to be like all right who did this and whoever did it make sure you fix it take all that stuff out create the items only or create an assembly take all that stuff out so Guys, subscribe. Questions or comments, leave them below. Please click the subscribe. I'm going to be making a ton of these videos. And also check out Chicago Electrical Code 20 Edition playlist. I have over 186 different um, topics that we are going to talk about. And it's going to help you a lot to understand code. I'm going to be starting all the way from um, the definitions all the way to the end of the book. So keep a lookout for that. I am doing them slowly and surely. Once again, Alfred Flores, CEO, President of New Age Electric. See you again.